Hello, Bill here, Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. Today we're going to take a look at Crepe Myrtle. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. We have here in front of us is Crepe Myrtle, also known as uh, Lagerstroemia indica in uh, Latin. And these come in. Uh, these come in pinks and purples and blues and reds, the uh, coloration of the flowers. It's native to Eurasia and uh, parts of uh, northern Australia. It was imported here to the United States uh, in the 1800s. It's used as a, uh, an urban landscape tree. It's quite common in uh, urban settings. Uh, it's very unlikely you're going to find one of these growing in the wilds. Uh, as an urban resources, uh, resource, it has a few different uses. Uh, one, it's a great uh, primitive fire resource. makes good bow drill wood. Uh, you have to kind of search and find some uh, pieces that are straight. This uh, particular botanical loves to grow in a uh, whorled or twisted manner. This uh, particular specimen here is about 45 years old. It's beautiful. It's just starting to bloom out. It's got a lot of blooms that will be uh, opening here. Get up here and take a little closer look at the bark. It has a very, very ornate bark. Very beautiful bark. This has been used to make uh, walking sticks. And you can usually find it with the bark peeling off at various stages. And this particular botanical is medicinal, has a few medicinal uses in, in uh, India. It is a, uh, it's used to treat diabetes. And in laboratory studies, uh, it's actually been been proven to uh, be very effective in, uh, in the treatment of diabetes, actually known as an herbal insulin in uh, India. Uh, the active ingredient is colosilic acid. It slows the absorption of carbohydrates and uh, acts as an insulin. And to use that, here's a piece of bark that I pulled off a little bit ago, and uh, you make a, uh, a decoction out of the bark and uh, I believe the dosage was two or th two or three hundred uh, milligrams per day this bark is also a styptic if you take it and you powderize it uh, a styptic is anything that curbs bleeding causes uh, blood clotting if you uh, powder this bark and sprinkle it on a wound, it'll, uh, it'll act as a clotting agent, curbing the bleeding. The leaves can also be used as a uh, diabetes treatment. Take the leaves, dry them, and uh, make a decoction out of them and uh, drink it as a tea. I've used this as a, uh, I've used this to uh, construct a few bow drill kits, and uh, it works pretty good. The char is a little on the grainy side, but uh, it does ignite and uh, makes a really good coal. You have to work it just a little bit longer and harder than you would uh, some of the other woods. But it's a good urban resource. Uh, as a uh, source for fire in a uh, in a situation if uh, you're caught uh, in a grid down scenario or whatever and uh, you need uh, you need a, uh, a resource to make fire this will do it I'm gonna go ahead and pause you guys just for a second and uh, there's another one right next door so we'll uh, we'll cruise over there and take a look at it be back in a sec stay tuned hey welcome back yeah, just cruise next door here and uh, 
taking a look at another one. This one's uh, a little more densely packed with flowers. This is a younger specimen here. Not quite as big as the other one. And close up of the bark here. bark is really cool. It's very ornate. And this is another episode in our wild edible and medicinal botanical series we've been doing here on the west coast of the United States. Having a lot of fun doing this and uh, hopefully you guys are uh, enjoying the videos as much as, uh, as, much as I'm enjoying uh, doing these for you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for many more videos upcoming. Got a lot of videos planned out, and I'm also going to do a video uh, constructing a uh, bow drill kit from this wood here. Matter of fact, I'll uh, go ahead and show you the wood here in just a sec, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, I got out some wood here I've cut in the back of my truck, and... Uh, this is crepe myrtle. Somebody had cut one down and left a pile of wood, so I asked them if I could take some. And, uh, oh, this is going back several months. So I went ahead and grabbed this. So I've got uh, some big pieces here that I'm going to make fireboards out of. He's going to make excellent fireboards. And uh, some great pieces here for spindles. And like I said earlier, I've already I've already made several uh, bow drill kits, but uh, always on the lookout uh, for other resources. So I'll probably make some kits and give them away. And uh, maybe I'll construct a few and uh, see if any of you guys are interested. And uh, I'll go ahead and uh, get one coal with it, make sure it's going to work good. And then uh, uh, whoever's interested, uh, pack it up in a... Uh, the spindle and the fireboard, pack it up in a uh, flat rate shipping box or something and uh, ship it to anybody who's interested. So I like to give away uh, little things, a little something that I handcrafted myself. It'd be nice to see somebody uh, enjoying it and uh, putting it to good use. So one other thing I wanted to say too, uh, the bark over here on the, uh, the crepe myrtle is a febrifuge. And that's a term for a fever reducer make a tea make a tea out of this bark uh, it acts as a good fever reducer and uh, will break fevers anyways I appreciate your viewership and your support and uh, special shout out to my uh, subscribers I really appreciate uh, appreciate your support I really do everybody have a good day and I will see you soon on the next one take care bye bye